set up a, a few of a, the buildings on our property with some electricity. We get a lot of sun where we're at. So we're going to go with solar. We've been wanting to do it for a while. We're going to take a trip here. To learn about solar. We've got a guy that uh, has a business that does solar and we're going to make an opportunity. To Check out some of his advice and go from there. Um, his name is Aaron and he has an online site called Solar Penny. Are you Aaron? We're looking forward to meeting him and getting some help. Small independent bedrooms mm -hmm. that just use bedroom and what's really important to us is expandability because we know that we're putting in more bedrooms. We'll have four of those. Okay. And then two bedrooms first and then another. we got to leave flexibility. The good thing is you can always add panels and add batteries. We have this version, which is a modified sine wave. There are two wave. types of inverters to choose from, the modified sine wave and the pure sine wave. Although modified sine wave is less expensive, it comes with a price. Wave isn't steady. It's up and down, up and down. Electronics can be really miserable. Your batteries and your cell phone won't. It's typically used with low-end appliances. Pure sine wave puts out an uninterrupted power. It replicates the power out of our outlets at home. But more importantly, it works best with sensitive electronics. Are you looking for batteries that you maintain or looking for maintenance-free batteries? Yeah. <laughs> How much work is a lot of maintenance? Um, it's not very much work. The next option is between AGM and flooded batteries. AGM are more expensive, but don't take any maintenance. Flooded batteries need to be checked regularly for the water level in the cells. They need to be kept in a ventilated area. AGM doesn't vent, it expands and contracts. However, they are almost twice as expensive. So your best value and best performance are gonna be what's called a flooded battery. The last decision is between 12 volts and 24 volt solar panels. A 100 watt smaller panel are for the 12 volt system. And so the big panels we can use on a 24 volt system. Mm -hmm. uh, larger panels will work better in low light conditions. And cost less per watt. After weighing the options, the family decides on the pure sine wave inverter, flooded batteries, and the 24 volt solar panels. So if we were to put some numbers together, what would it run us? We had a budget, we wanted to stay around $3,000. By the time we got done looking at it, it went way more than that. Aaron suggested just backing it down, keeping it within our budget. Instead of putting both Bree and Garen's bedrooms up on it, now we were just going to do the one bedroom. On the website, solarpenny.com, there's the links to the two YouTube channels that you can get to. Take care, my friend. Go make some YouTube videos about science. Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh, no problem. It's nice meeting you. really simple. The second trip, Gary was working, so we just took Bryson and Garen up. They feel completely confident that they can get it up and get it all plugged in right. And Aaron was real good to go over each step and how it all hooks up. It was neat just to see that board and how everything was pre-wired for us, all ready to go. This is so cool, Aaron. Thank you for you doing that. So we got it home, and as soon as we got it home, the first thing Gary wanted to do was build the building. And we had just hauled in just tons of blocks. We're starting our foundation now for the room. We'll be making this out of 8 by 16 blocks. What we have here is we have two solar panels and then we have axles that we got from, from a metal recycle place and we, we welded it on to two metal bars. The aluminum bars here are bolted into the main frame. And the hookups are fairly simple. We have a, a female and a male. All your negatives and all your pluses hook up together. And then our solar system is all set up and plugged in there. It goes down and out to our, our boxes. These leftover lines here are meant for just extensions. Alrighty, so this light up here is officially running off of solar. Um, and it's running off this light switch. Right? Here's our solar panels, which is where the main power comes out from the outside and goes into this box. And then this box will go into this controller and has a bunch of setups in here. The controller regulator will actually control and regulate the voltage going to the batteries. The rest of the power that comes out will then go into the inverter, which will convert this to DC to AC. And then the AC power will come over here to our electrical box, which is 120. So the power then runs into the room. It runs from the main solar system right into the Garen's room. All these batteries here, you just have to check them. So every two or three weeks, you just lift them up, make sure they've got distilled water in them. And, and these look like they're, they're all full from like about two weeks ago. 
the results are in. We've been able to go out and check the, the meters and we're always in that 90 percentile on the batteries even with his heavy use with computers and fans and works TVs and whatnot that he has in there. So everything's running really well. Please subscribe. For more information, you can click the website link below. Thanks for watching.